was parade day with thousands upon thousands of Nugget fans gathering to celebrate the team in and around Civic Center Park. But amid all the positive activity there was, there was also a Denver police officer who was seriously injured. That officer was walking next to the fire truck with the star players. The sergeant was in the middle of the street when people in the crowd broke through the barricades and ran towards the truck. Not long after that, that fire truck ran over at least one of his legs. Nine News reporter Steve Steger is joining us from Denver Health. And Steve, the chief says people weren't supposed to be in the streets. They weren't supposed to get that close when this happened. Yeah, if you were along the parade route today, you likely noticed it. It really stuck out. The crowd of people following that float, that fire truck carrying Nikola Jokic, carrying Jamal Murray, and carrying the Larry O'Brien trophy uh, as it made its way down Broadway towards, uh, toward the city and county building where that rally happened later this afternoon. So Sergeant Dodge was in the crowd. He was trying to stop people from getting too close to that fire truck when the worst happened. On a day meant for celebration, a scary moment. It was horrible, it was it was a sad sight. Former Nine News photojournalist Brian Willey had his camera near the corner of 13th and Cherokee, hoping to capture happy moments. The truck was on top of him, and this is one of the, the biggest fire trucks that Denver Fire has, one of their big aerials. And Police say DPD SWAT Sergeant Justin Dodge was trying to keep a crowd of people away from the truck carrying Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray when his leg got clipped by the truck's tire, trapping him under it. Like his legs were completely under the front wheel and they were started banging on the truck to back it up. The driver didn't understand what was going on. He kind of kept going forward. Finally, they got Dodge out and rushed him to Denver Health. As of this time, he is in stable condition. He does have a severe uh, limb threatening injury. He was taken to the operating room by our world class uh, orthopedic team. Dodge was doing something he shouldn't have had to do. There were uh, reinforcements to keep uh, folks out of the street, uh, significant fencing. We had officers throughout the parade route. And yet people still got through those barricades into the street and crowded that last fire truck. I think the officer was doing his job uh, protecting the public and, and uh, you know, unfortunately was injured. It's a horrible ending to uh, what a great celebration um, because both Denver Fire and Denver Police are doing everything they can to keep everybody safe. And that's all that that officer was doing. So when we last got an update from DPD at 2.30, Dodge was in surgery at the time as doctors try to save his leg with what they call that limb threatening injury. DPD says that Sergeant Justin Dodge is a veteran officer on the SWAT team that he is highly decorated, which means he does the job pretty well. They call what happened today a terrible accident. Yeah, it was terrible and the fans were excited. No one was thinking in that moment, and uh, it, it, it sounds like in just hearing from Brian and others that saw that, it was devastating to witness. It's a horrific moment. Brian actually talked about Jamal Murray is up in the bucket of the fire truck, and he's signing autographs, signing autographs. He looks down, and he sees what's going on, and he said that Jamal Murray worked very quickly to try to calm the crowd down because he knew what was going on below him, wanted to try to get the area clear so that the police and first responders could get in and help uh, and try to get Justin Dodge to the hospital as quickly as possible. Okay, thank you, Steve.